Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate to you the Azure Site Recovery actual failover from your on-premises network to the Azure VNet. So um, I have got this scenario here where I have a Hyper-V host and I have two tier web application in here with a SQL database backend and they are both are replicating to the Azure, um, uh, Azure ASR vault. Um, so I've got the configuration already. So if I go to the um, Azure Site Recovery, you will see the Azure Recovery World Services here. And I have created a uh, Recovery World Service, and then um, I've got the replicated items here, and I've got both of those items added in as two separate items, so that I can actually uh, in the recovery plan I can actually control which one to fail over first and this and the the one after. So I've got both of those items added and they are actually held in health device they are all good they are replicating um, and, uh, and I've already created a recovery plan which actually recovers the application and then if you go into the details you will see I have these two virtual machines to shut down first in the source area and then uh, start the virtual machines in the destination area in this order actually it's so it's first start in the SQL server and then in the web server so yeah let's let's go ahead and have a have a look um, uh, and we will do actual failover now and then uh, I'll show you how the actual experience looking like before we go to the actual failover I just wanted to show you my 2T application so I've got a, a SQL server and a, a web front end to the web server here which is IIS server I'm connected to the host here and they, this is Hyper-V running and they are replicated to the um, uh, issue site recovery vault and um, if I go to the show you the front end uh, that's how this is looking like so this is just a web application uh, connected to, uh, to the AdventureWorks data, uh, database and it's actually showing you the data then there so um, that's the application in our show and let's go and uh, do the actual failover so I'm connected to the uh, recovery vault here and um, I'm going to go to the recovery plan I'm going to do a fail plan uh, plan failover so what's the difference between a plan failover and a uh, unplanned failover is in the plan failover it's actually you're actually doing it uh, with actually knowing that the infrastructure is still up and you're telling that it to gracefully shut down all the VMs um, in the source uh, source site, and then uh, spin up the VMs in the destination site. In an unplanned failover, you don't know um, if the source uh, site is is reachable or what's the state of it. You just do a force uh, force shutdown or force uh, kind of like forget about whatever the situation in the source uh, site is, and it'll, you kind of do the failover. And then um, you get the source uh, or the destination virtual machines up and and get the services up in the destination site. So in this case, I'm going to do a plan fail over here. Um, and it's actually from uh, Earth Hyper V to the Azure subscription. And then, so if we actually click on this um, notification now, you will see the recovery jobs status, and it will show you. Uh, breakdown of all these steps involved in the actual plan failover and um, and whenever it completes each one of these tasks it will say complete and it will show you the flow now let's see how long it takes and now it's showing the prerequis prerequisite check is in progress and uh, let's see how long it takes to complete this now you see it's actually shutting down the virtual machine so we uh, we should if we go to the actual host uh, we should be able to see um, it's actually shutting down so I'll show you quickly here so if I go to the host here they are actually so one of them is shutting down so the web server is shut down already and let's see what's happening here so yeah one of them is shut down successfully and if I see here now the other one should shut down yeah it's the other one is shut down as well so if we go to the again now it's in progress it's 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 a bit delayed to actually uh, update here but uh, yeah you will see that there so you can see it's actually now um, it's actually recovery plan failover stage uh, so it's actually, what it actually does is it creates these two virtual machines in in this issue subscription. So let's go ahead and have a look at the servers that's in here in the subscription. 
so I can't see those servers yet uh, it will take some time to show up in here um, we'll, we'll give it a bit of time now you can see actually one of the VMs actually showing up in here so that's a SQL server and it's creating right now so if we do a refresh yeah it's it's still SQL but the failover uh, steps or the planned failover steps has been updated now the recovery failover process is complete and the SQL server is running first so the my, my order is actually start the SQL server first and then start the um, the other web server now if when you do a refresh you can see it's now the web server is now getting created and it will actually is uh, is in process right now and once that started it's it actually completes the um, the failover and we will do a verification afterwards so you can see now when I did the refresh uh, the web server is also not running now so if I go back to the plan the failover plan failover steps are now complete and the finalization recovery plan is now successful so everything's complete from the recovery point of view and let's go to the servers and have a look now I'm logged into the Azure jump box which is another VM that's in the same VNet and uh, I have typed the URL that's, uh, that's actually hit into the IIS server and you can see the the web server or the full service is up and running in Azure uh, without any issues. So um, yeah I, I can re I can remote into the two servers so this is the SQL server uh, and which has SQL installed in there if you go and have a look and yes taking a bit of time yeah that's the that's a SQL server and if we go to the um, if we go to the C temp or the C log file uh, which I have created before the failover with uh, this folder was created before the failover and you can see now this server was on, in on-premises this is the text I added in before before this actually failed over so which this means that uh, we have now got the server properly replicated with all the settings um, before the actual failover occurred uh, this was there and, and we can access the web server as well and that server was there as well so um, which is here so I was looking at all the configuration files uh, uh, all moved over and also if you look at uh, this log file here which has the same uh, this this text file which I modified just before the actual um, failover um, is also replicated so once once all the verification is done on the server side you need to actually commit the failover so you need to go to the recovery plan and then click commit here which I have already done um, and once the commit is successful, it will show that the commit is completed. So this completes the actual uh, recovery from your on-premises to Azure uh, from a recovery plan. So this completes this video. Thanks for watching.